Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet and we have a new release of KDE Plasma Desktop. The version number is 5.13 and with this new release, KDE has introduced few important changes and improvements to the popular Plasma Desktop, including some visual changes like this blur effect to menus, which looks amazing. And I'm a huge fan of this. So let's do a quick hands-on video and check out the latest features introduced with KDE Plasma 5.13. Alright, I'm using OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, which is a bleeding edge distro from OpenSUSE. Being a bleeding edge distro, you have access to the latest softwares as soon as they are released by the developers. Hence, KDE Plasma 5.13 is available here. You can also use KDE Neon or other bleeding edge distros to try out the new Plasma desktop. Alright, now let's start with the visual changes first. There have been some major changes done to the lock screen. Now you can give path to a folder containing bunch of pictures and the lock screen displays this slideshow of all the pictures. And there's this fade to blur animation. When you press any key to log in, the slideshow gets blurred, uh, which looks very nice and beautiful. And with this feature on, now you don't really need a screensaver. I think this looks better than any screensaver. The other big change is the blur effect, which you can enable from system setting app. Um, also the design of system setting app itself has been revamped, which is not yet available on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed for some reason. But if you go to KDE's Neon Distro, you can see the difference here. There's a change in the layout of the app. Now you have all the settings categories on the left side with the corresponding sub settings on the right side. Anyways, let's go back to OpenSUSE. Now to enable blur effect, go to desktop behavior and then desktop effect. Now there's some issue with this window. As you can see, the options are not displayed properly. But being a bleeding edge distro, you kind of expect such issues as softwares are not tested properly here. But I'm sure in few weeks time, uh, this issue will be resolved. And also I got the same issue with KDE Neon Distro as well. Anyways, I'm going to type blur on search bar and here's the effect. Now the setting button lets you tweak the blur strength. Now with this set, uh, we can make the console or terminal background transparent. Let me show you how to do that. So open console and create a new profile. Let's name it as test and then go to appearance tab and choose breeze style and then click on edit and then check the box to blur background. Now the previous version Plasma 5.12 did not have this setting. Now click on apply and save it and then switch the console profile to the newly created test profile. And as you can see, the background has this blur effect that looks really nice. You can adjust the amount of blur by going back to the blur setting and tweaking it as per your liking. Next, there's also a new transparency feature that lets you add the blur to the background of menus as well. To activate this, go to system setting, application style and in widget style, select breeze and then click on configure. The last tab here is the transparency tab and you can drag the slider to select the amount of transparency you want. And now this is how your menu looks, which I think look really awesome and makes your desktop very modern looking. And if you have watched my previous videos, you know that I'm a huge fan of this. This is one of the reasons why I like Dipin OS, which also have similar effect. However, in Dipin OS, there's no option to adjust or customize this transparency. And I think it's great that now with KDE, we have this option. So kudos to the Plasma development team for adding this. Now, apart from the visual changes, Plasma 5.13 has this new feature called browser integration, which makes the integration between the browser and the desktop more stronger. Now with this new feature, if you are playing a video or music on the browser, you get the media tracking right on the system tray, which is a nice add-on. Also, if you download a file from the browser, the download progress is displayed in the notification menu as well. The integration also extends to the popular KRunner app. Now the app also shows results from the open browser tabs and lets you quickly go to an open tab from this app itself, which is a very useful feature if you have lots of tabs open. Now to enable this feature, feature, you need to first install Plasma Browser Integration app for the desktop from the software center and then go to your browser and install Plasma Integration extension or add-on for the browser. 
Currently, the browser integration feature is available for Firefox, Chrome and Chromium browser only. Now, apart from these major changes, there have been many other improvements as well. For example, the Discover app now allows you to sort the list in order. The fonts page now displays previews for subpixel and aliasing setting, which is nice for making font clearer and more crispier. Also, when you download a file, the taskbar serves as a progress bar for your download, which is a feature very similar to Windows OS. Also, the system now remembers the last open app. So when you restart your computer, it takes you back to the place where you left off. There have been many other new features and updates for a complete list of all the changes. You can check out KDE's announcement page and release log. I'll post the link of these pages in the description below. Alright, so that was all for today. Uh, KDE Plasma is one of the biggest desktop in Linux world. And along with GNOME, both desktop powers almost 90% of Linux machine. And KDE Project is an old project project and has a rich history being the premier of modern Linux desktop for a long time. And this new release is a step in the right direction. I am really impressed with this update and full marks to the development team for doing such a great job. Alright, so that was all for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or feedback, please type that in in the comment box. And if you want to see more such videos uh, in future, please subscribe to my channel XPS Tech. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.